always commemorate all of you. Hello all, welcome to my channel, Enigma Mysteries channel. I'm going to be reacting to shooters, reacting to life sentences. This looks fascinating. I'm fascinated. Let's check it out. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more and I'll bring you more. Let's check it out. What are you reporting? Someone's shooting at uh, Freeman High School. Someone's shooting at Freeman High School? Yes, it sounds like somebody's shooting at Freeman High School. This is Caleb Sharp. On September 13th, 2017, Caleb Sharp brought several weapons to Freeman High School and started shooting at his classmates. He killed one student, Sam Strawn, and wounded three girls. He also caused fear and panic among many others who witnessed the shooting. I started running and was so scared because I felt like I was running in slow motion. I began thinking there's absolutely no way I'm getting out of this. Caleb Sharp was subsequently arrested and brought before the court to face the consequences of his actions. As if his crime was not outrageous enough, his reaction to his sentence was even more dramatic. I'm sorry to every single person I forced PTSD upon. I'm sorry to all the people who can't go out in public anymore. The mother of the late student, Amy Strawn, was in attendance with her daughter, Emily, and she and Sharp's other victims had some things to say to the killer of her child. As I lay there, I watched him walk by me with the most, most emotionless face I've ever seen, shooting at my classmates as they ran in fear of their lives into classrooms. The fact that Gracie survived is remarkable. The fact that she can walk is a miracle. In his defense, Brooke Foley, Sharp's public defender, argued that due to his age and immaturity at the time of the shooting, Sharp should be considered a youthful offender and receive a sentence below the standard range. You will hear that Caleb Sharp was an immature 15-year-old, that he had neurocognitive disorders, and his youthfulness should be the basis to find him less culpable for his criminal conduct. Foley requested a 20-year fixed sentence, but the judge did not agree. Lots of kids have ADHD, but they don't go shoot up a school and try to kill as many of their classmates as they can. The defendant, Caleb Sharp, in the state of Washington, <coughs> on or about September 13th, 2017, did intentionally assault. I'm sure the court would accept your plea today and would find you guilty as charged. Caleb Sharp pleaded guilty to premeditated murder and attempted murder and was sentenced to 40 years to life in prison, with credit for nearly five years served. Sharp will be in prison for at least the next 35 years, making him eligible for parole at age 55. However, let's compare the apologetic reaction of Caleb Sharp to the astonishing outburst by T.J. Lane during their sentencing. T.J. Lane is a teenager who shot up Chardon High School in Ohio on February 27, 2012. Chaos erupted at the school as multiple calls flooded the Ohio Police Department, reporting an active shooter within the premises. Chardon High School, we had shots fired, gunshots, multiple gunshots. Chardon High School, any police up here? Was there someone in the According to police reports, Lane entered the school and proceeded to the cafeteria, where he opened fire, resulting in the tragic deaths of three students and severe injuries to three others. However, the emotional wounds inflicted on the Chardon High School community that day are immeasurable and will endure indefinitely. You see glances of your friends laying all over the place, there's blood, there's people screaming, everybody's running in different directions, and you're just trying to get out. Lane's actions sent shockwaves through the community, leading to his swift apprehension and subsequent charges. Imagine if the police didn't apprehend him that quickly. What else would he have done? We need the police. He was charged with three counts of aggravated murder, two counts of attempted aggravated murder, and one count of felonious assault. However, the real shocker came when Lane unleashed his madness in the courtroom. Lane showed no remorse during the trial, and he adamantly refused to cooperate with his attorneys. Instead, he brazenly appeared in court wearing a t-shirt bearing the word killer, and even extended his middle finger to the grieving families of the victims. During the sentencing hearing, this is what Lane had to say. Saying pull the trigger that could be done, you know, masturbates to memory. Love you. This statement sparked outrage and disgust, not only among the victims' families, but also throughout the entire nation. Lane received three life sentences in prison without the possibility of parole. Remarkably, he remained emotionless and unremorseful, showing no reaction when the sentence was pronounced. However, while TJ Lane's behavior raised eyebrows, it's nothing compared to the actions of Ethan Crumbly during their trial, 
On November 30th, 2021, 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly, a student of Oxford High School in Michigan, carried out one of the state's most devastating school shootings. Armed with a loaded 9mm semi-automatic handgun that he had acquired just four days prior, Crumbly executed a horrifying plan he had detailed in his journal to commit the biggest school shooting in Michigan's history. Tragically, he turned this plan into reality, claiming the lives of three students and injuring eight others. I have two deaths. I have a kid standing next to the guy that got shot right in the back of the head so he could watch with the murderer saying it right to him, lay down on the ground and go right next to him. If you thought Crumbly had reached the depths of depravity with his crimes, wait until you see their shocking behavior during the proceedings. Crumbly pleaded guilty to all charges, having been accused of taking the lives of four students and causing injuries to seven others, including a teacher. Now we're not willing to take that risk right now. I can't hear you. We're not taking that risk right now. Okay, well, come to the door and look at my bag, bro. Yeah, bro. He said bro. He said bro. Red flag. The emotional toll of Crumbly's actions was visible in the courtroom. Crumbly admitted to taking the lives of each victim, confirming their identities by name. You deliberately, with the intent to kill, and with premeditation, use a 9mm handgun and shoot and kill Miss Madison Baldwin. And shoot and kill Mr. Tate Meyer. And shoot and kill Miss Hannah St. Julian. And shoot and kill Mr. Justin Schilling. He confessed to retrieving the gun used in the shooting from an unlocked container in his home on the day of the incident. Crumbly revealed that he had concealed the weapon in his backpack and later used it in a bathroom to carry out the attack. Is it true that while inside the boy's bathroom, in the stall of the bathroom, you removed the handgun from your backpack? Yes. Is it true that you ensured that the handgun was loaded? Yes. Is it true that you exited the bathroom approximately 12.51 p.m. on November the 30th, 2021? Yes. Is it true that when you exited the bathroom, you began shooting at students and staff members of the Oxford High School? Yes. Contradicting his parents' claims that the gun was securely stored, Crumbly stated that he had given his father money to purchase the firearm he used in the mass shooting, and that it was easily accessible. The bathroom began shooting, moved through hallways, back through hallways, and was apprehended in the hallway. Crumbly now faces the possibility of life in prison without the chance of parole. Despite his lack of emotion during the plea bargaining, his attorney, Lofton, had considered an insanity defense. But after the hearing, she concluded that it was challenging and that her client had chosen to plead guilty instead. Why did you change the plea? Uh, originally, we filed a notice of insanity. And based on the conversations that we've had and the review of the discovery, uh, we felt it appropriate to withdraw that and have him plead guilty today. However, Crumbly isn't alone in their courtroom actions. Let's not... I'm going to leave it there, um, but it just shows what goes through the mind um, of a young person that you want to take the lives of your fellow students, even teachers who were there to be friendly with you or to teach you simple maths and English. You know, it's just, the depravity of our society is ridiculous and so much guns floating around. But that's a debate for another time, okay? So that's my two cents. Um, I'm going to bring you a bit more. This is fascinating stuff. What goes on in the minds of people who want to take the lives of other people please like share and subscribe i uh, will be bringing you more i'll just let you watch just a little glimpse of the next uh, scene and um, i'll bring you another video another time stay tuned forget the infamous incident involving 19 year old nicholas cruz my name is nick and i'm gonna be the next school shooter of 2018. my goal is at least 20 people with an ar-15 and a couple tracer rounds i think i can do a good done you're all going to die who carried out see what i'm saying what is going on man anyway please like share subscribe um share this video and i'll see you on the next video stay safe people one love